Hello everyone and welcome back to another Lucky Toy Drop unboxing. I hope everyone's had a lovely week and let's just get right into it. I found these half price at a store. They were the last few pieces so I thought why not grab some? Let's grab this rainbow corn and mixie over there. And actually let's get this littlest pet shop one out of the way too. And I also really want to see which Disney princess we got this time, so let's grab that one as well. And last but not least, I think we'll be opening up this uh, Azura collectible doll. And here is our selection of toys for today. I'm sorry if you can hear some noises in the background. My dad is doing some heavy duty work in the yard. I think I kind of want to start as always with the pets and then we can move on to the figures. So let's get the Littlest Pet Shop one out of the way first. And once again, I will put the checklist on your screens. Oh wow, they're blue and purple this time, that's so cool! And here they are out of the packaging. Let me get those petals off, it always helps me see them a little bit better. You guys, I think the one on the left is a little snake. This one, I think it's a fox. It has a very fluffy tail, a little fluff on her cheeks on the side here. It's either a very fluffy kitty or a fox, but I'm gonna go with fox. That was super adorable. It was so nice to get something so different this time. So let's see if we're gonna get lucky and get something totally new in the Rainbow Corns one as well. Purple Heart again. Oh, I think this is a double. Unfortunately, it is a double indeed. Let me put it together. Here is the purple ring. The rainbow hair clip. And our little rainbow corn. I think it's fine that we got a double again because I kind of really like this one and I stole it and now my niece can have one too. And this is Giggles, so I'm going to put the checklist on your screen so you can check them all out. Mixed luck so far, we've gotten something completely new and then an actual double. So let's see what we're gonna get from our little Magic Mixies box. Okay, another pink gem. Let's try and reveal the little symbol. Okay, I think I can see a half moon in there, and this is definitely a different symbol. I think we got the rhombus twice last time, and that was a super rare, so this is something different. I see the same wand. Okay, so this time we got a common one. I wonder how different they're gonna look. And here's a quick peek of the checklist. So, so far we have Brinkle and Marin, which were the super rare ones, and now we get a chance at one of the commons, and I'm still going to say that I'm hoping for Duska. First off, here's the wand. It's exactly the same as the previous ones. And let's find out our little mixling. Oh, it's a very beautiful color. Oh wow, it's a little cow. That's adorable. She has a pink gem that's so beautiful, the blue with the pink, and the little purple horns. Oh my. She's very pretty. She has a little tail, and I wonder what she does. <gasps> she changes eye colors. Oh wow. <laughs> you can change it on and off again. That's really cool, actually. Let's find out her name. I think this is Jumo, and she's super, super adorable and so happy for this one. Okay, I'm pretty happy with that, so let's just go ahead and move on to our little figures. Let's go by size. Let's pick the smallest one first and work our way up to the biggest one. This is another Disney Princess Palace collection, series 6, and I don't quite remember which ones we've had. I think we've had two Snow Whites, and... 
I want to say Mulan. So we still have quite a few to go. I want all the other princesses and I guess I'd like the Beast and uh, Miko, I believe his name was. This one got pretty beat up in the box so I had to tape it. Let's not look at the backdrop, which is a spoiler. I think this is a blue one. We've had pink and purple and magenta before, but never blue, that's amazing. I'm going to say by the size of this that it's probably a princess, but I don't know which one, so let's find out. Here's hoping for something new. It is! It is Rapunzel! Wow! I'm usually not very fond of um, the pink dresses, but this one's very, very beautiful and her hair is amazing, obviously. So now we can put our backdrop together. I think because of the boat, it kind of reminds me more of Hogwarts than Rapunzel, but, you know, it's beautiful. And there's our princess. She's a little bit more finicky to get to stand still because of her hair. Now, the next two I've never gotten before, so whatever we get, it's gonna be something new. But when it comes to the Game of Thrones, I do have some favorites, so let's see. So I think there's multiple series of these out. And this has no indication, so I'm gonna guess it's series one, but I could be wrong. Now, I know everybody's going to hate me for this, but I do love a good villain in a story. So, I'm a big fan of the Lannisters. So I'm hoping I get some of those. But I would definitely not mind Sansa or Jon either. So let's see how lucky we are. All I can tell by fumbling is that it has a big head, which isn't much to go on when it comes to Funkos, so let's go ahead and open it up. Oh, it's John! That's awesome! He's pretty cool looking. That serious face. That was fun, and we have, I believe, two more boxes of these to go, so hopefully we get all different figures out of them. But let's just go ahead and open the last one for today, which is Azura. Now, this is a Pop Mart figure, and this one is the wardrobe version of it, and they're all super cute. They have different outfits on and different styles, and they look adorable. So this is Miss Tolly on the front. And then we have... Vintage lady, Chinese style girl, Tang style lady, I don't know what that is, but it looks cute. Skateboard girl, music festival, now that is amazing looking. Pajama party, cute and cool girl, I like that one too. Amusement park day, Miss Dolly that we saw in the front. Picnic day, Macaron girl, these two are also super super adorable, I just love their colors. Hot blooded youth. And a secret one. The secret one looks like a queen of some sorts. Hmm. I think pretty much anything out of this is gonna be beautiful. But as always, so long as it's blue, pink, or purple, I'm going to be very, very pleased. So let's go ahead and see what we got. I can't really tell by the packaging, so let's just go ahead and find out. Okay, three, two, one. Oh wow, she's definitely pink. I love her hair color. And the little teddy bear. Let's see her on the stand. So this one is the Chinese style girl. And she looks super cute. She's got a little bit of tears running down her cheek. She's got her teddy bear and her little pom-poms. These are so, so adorable. Now I really, really want that music festival one. And here's the card, it's styled after a clothes tag, which is very appropriate. And very, very cute. So here's a close-up of our toys for today. I think we were pretty lucky this time too. There was only one double, and everything else was either something we wanted or something completely new that is super, super cute. That Azura figure though, the wardrobe series is amazing. And I hope I will be able to get some more of those in the future. But this is it for today. I hope you had a good time. I wish you all a lovely weekend, and I hope I'll see you on the next one.